loser's final here between Gladitz Gray and D Money. Winner will play Kaysen in Grand Finals. Will it be D-Money or will it be Gladitz Gray? Gladitz starting out with an up smash into the up air, but D-Money countering. Those, that Incineroar neutral air is such a good combo breaker for the big cat. You know, you have to be almost perfect. You've got that and you've also got revenge too. So you have to be pretty tight with your combos against this character. Oh, nice job by Gladitz to go for the spiking version. Actually able to make sure the revenge does not activate. I link it up here. Alolan Whip, that's going to be a kill. Man, D Money has just made their money with the Alolan Whip under that left or right platform. So deadly. Landing on the down smash with the Darkest Lariat. Another Alolan Whip coming out, that time being the aerial version. Don't know if that's what he wanted. That time, it's the horizontal version. Trying to get the neutral air, and Gladitz. Oh, he went too close, and that's a stock. Gladitz. Oh, my goodness. That is so heartbreaking for him, for them in this game number one. They probably had the kill on D-Money, but they went too close and ended up losing a stock and now D-Money in big position uses the flip jump to get out of it. Forward air is going to kill though on the Paralyzer down smash but a big hill to climb and one side B could end it all. Game one goes to D-Money. Yeah, a pretty, pretty dominant game one from D Money. Not messing around with these counter pick characters. Oh, speaking of counter pick characters, we have Luigi coming out from Gladitz Gray. Yeah, after, oh. after that, after that Three, dominant two, game, one, game one go. performance, you knew Gladitz thinking of mixing up, but I, I've never seen the zero or the the Luigi from Gladys Gray. This is gonna be interesting. Gets the down smash, and right now, this Luigi is looking pretty good, missing the up. Sorry, apologies. The sound is a little messed up here. We'll try to get that back to the former levels here. Now going deep. So far, this Luigi's looked pretty good, but killing with the aerial version is D Money. Off stage, uh, off, st off stage, off stage now. Okay, so back against We are still in it. D Money still on this stock. He has played very well. And look at these down tilts to try to, to two fra or catch the recovery. D Money 189 on this stock. D-Money with that GOAT mode tag. Really trying to channel something here. Gets the side smash though. Alolan Whip. Up B. Gladitz at 53, 69. Side B off stage. Trying to get back to the stage now. And it looks like after a good start, Gladitz is having trouble getting off the ledge. Revenge 
Oh, good counter with the up air to avoid any sort of revenge hit from D Money. And now into 61, knocking the revenge out of him. Gets the misfire. Back to stage. Trying to stall at the ledge. Got to be careful. Ledge roll caught by D Money's F tilt. Now 92% on this stock for D Money. 16 on Vladitz's. Dash attack. Gonna miss the Alolan whip. D Money in full control here. I wonder if D Money did he go deep? D Money with the deep spike. Wow. Oh my goodness. Into the depths. He was off the screen. Oh, he did not need to do that, but he felt like it. And back to the Zero Suit Samus after the Luigi experiment. I, I don't even know. I don't have good enough words to describe what an amazing play by Team Money that was. All right, so back to PS2 here. Played all our games here. And after the 3-1 set win by Gladys originally, this is looking incredibly dominant for D-Money so far. Gets the kill though, glad it's great with a zero to death coming out on game number three. Gets the neutral air into the flip jump spike. And it's glad it's being explosive at this game, in the outset of this game. Gets the grab. Oh, glad it's... There's a player scorned right now. Trying to get the Paralyzer. A Alolan whip, though. Gotta be so careful against Incineroar. You know that side B is coming. You gotta try to, to be tricky with these cross-ups. Nice conversion into the back air. Not able to get the spike, though. That's D Money sort of on the back foot here. Gets the spike. Or the grounding into the up B, and that's what he was trying to do originally. Gray. Better spacing and the shield is broken. Down smash. Got all four hits of that darkest lariat. But still a whole stock lead for Gladys Gray. D Money converting into a quick 60%. Oh, did he get it again? Neutral air into the spike. These two are putting on a spike party. This is volleyball right here on PS2. Glad it's got two Nair to flip jump spikes in that game. And are we going to see the Bowser Jr. come out? Yeah, D Money switching immediately to his counter pick. Bowser Jr. versus Zero Suit Sam is clearly D Money thinking he needs a change. That change is the Bowser Jr., of course. Fastest of his characters. And you got sort of that burst option akin to, you know, Zero Suit's movement with the Koopa Clown car. Able to get back from center, or from the ledge to center. Now trying to read that, that get up onto the ledge. Just bouncing back. Money in the lead right now gets the cannonball. Z drop into the Mecha Koopa. And that almost killing there. Right now, even a jab could kill at ledge. D Money looking for the kill option gets punished by Gladys by the with the grab. Right now. Gets. gets the back air. Glad it's really bringing this back right now. That's another back air. Goes deep with the armor. It saves D Money's first stock. Yeah, and now D 
D-Money getting punished, not getting punished on these Koopa Cloud cars. Eventually, when that one ends, Gladitz with the up smash. And Gladitz has played really well in these last two games. Great adaptation by the Zero Suit main. That's the down air. Into the grab. Into the dash attack. Choosing to get back. Gladys wanting no part of being under Bowser or above Bowser Jr. on that platform. That up air, such a potent combo tool. Not able to get it that much. And a couple of these. Oh, we're seeing a lot of the down airs come out to sort of punish these aerial approaches by D Money. Not able to get the back air, but a couple of up airs. D Money stay, or excuse me, Gladys just opting to shield that Koopa Clown car. Oh, not able to get the grab. So close on that. Just re-grabbing the Mecha Koopa, extending its life. Let's be so careful, trying to convert this Zare into some sort of a combo. Gets the Plasma Whip, and that's a stock. Gladitz playing so well in these last two games on the Zero Suit. They have found something in D-Money's play, and now they are taking advantage of it. Up smash, last hit. Yeah, these grabs are working so well right now. D-Money definitely getting caught out in the air on these Koopa Clown cars. Yeah, it's it, they're using the Koopa Clown car every time they're in the corner, and they are getting punished big time for it. Up smash. Oh, he rolls in. You don't want to roll in, D-Money. That's a stock and the game. Glad it's gray. Has tied up the set. You know, after the switch to Luigi, he thought this might be potentially a 3-0 in favor of D-Money. Let's be honest. That was the thought going through everyone's mind, potentially. But Gladitz Gray switching back to the Zero Suit and commanding themselves back into the set. 2-2, Two -two. Incineroar, Zero Suit Samus, D-Money, Gladitz Gray, who will meet Kaysen in winner's, or winner's side of Grands. That's where Kaysen is. They're trying to make it to the loser side of Grands. Down to town and city, first non-PS2 game we've seen. And this is where that side B is going to be so dangerous for D Money. Maybe kill it, those sub 100%. Gladys has to be really careful getting off the ledge. Oh, will that kill? No, it didn't. It was close, though. You saw kill sparks come out. And now we've got that no platforms to mix up. Gray's got to be careful. Also nowhere for D-Money to run. Gets the side B almost into the stock. Maybe looking for that back air. Tries to get the neutral air. Side B off the top will kill. D-Money takes stock number one. That's the ledge. Air dodging back. Down throw into the forward air. Money trying to get that revenge. Jab not coming back, didn't commit to it. And now D-Money starting to run away here with this game number five. Town in City, there's no real platforms for Gray to run away on. At some point they gotta engage. And now getting the back air on the landing. Good job from Gray. Now they're sent off stage. But D-Money content to really not go in. Gotta be careful, the up air almost kills revenge with the maybe assist. Another revenge on the platform. D-Money just content to pop these. Never glad it's just getting close because it makes those stray hits. Turns them into kills. Spot dodge and the darkest lariat. D-Money up three stocks to one. Another revenge. Gladys has to be gray. Oh, or Gladys has to be scary. Gladys is gray. That is, that is his name. 
Trying to go deep for the edge guard. D Money at the ledge. And you know, oh, maybe could have seen Alolan Whip come out. Instead, the up smash comes out from Gladys Gray. Two to one, D Money in the lead. Back air. Gladys in the corner. The percent is racking up. Up smash. Gotta be so careful. Yeah, you saw only one up air come out because the threat of the revenge was definitely there. Nice job playing at around the revenge. And D Money making it back. Gladys Gray almost losing the stock there. Gotta be so careful because of a Lolan whip. Could come out. Gets hit by the backside of Darkest Lariat. Now the platform. D Money at the lead. Stepping back. D Money with the forward air. Meets him with the neutral air. 120. A Lolan whip will kill at this percentage. Gotta be so careful. 107 on D Money. Goes for the paralyzer. Runs away to save their life at 134. Gotta watch the neutral air on the jump. The back air will kill. D Money takes it 3 2 over Gladys Gray and an incredible loser's final. Woo! My blood's pumping, and I'm sure these players it is flowing right now, but D Money. Gets the win over Gladys Gray, but credit to them. 3-1 in the in winner's side.